Good afternoon, Hudson High. I'm Tim. And I'm Raquel, and, and you're, you're tuned, tuned into Hud TV, TV News. News. Attention music fans, there's a new, there's a brand new band hitting the airwaves and concert venues around Massachusetts. Why Don't We is the name of the band. Let's take a look. Are you looking for a hot new band to listen to? Well, no need to look anymore. Why Don't We is the newest, hottest boy band. The members are Jenna Murray, Daniel Seavey, Corbin Besson, Jack Avery, and Zach Heron. They just released their debut album called Eight Letters and also announced a U.S. tour for their album. The band has become really popular, especially with teenage girls. These boys have been a band for only two years and have released seven EPs, been on multiple tours, released an album, have more than 200 million global audio streams, 3 million Instagram followers, and total YouTube views exceeding 250 million with over 2 million subscribers. They are hardworking young adults that have done a lot and people are really recognizing them. This album and tour is really important to them and their fans because even though they have released many singles and EPs and been on tour before, this is their debut album and tour for it and that's a big deal to many artists that are trying to make it. And they are definitely doing that. We are performing at the Agonis Arena in Boston on April 6, 2019. You can get tickets at Ticketmaster.com. Why Don't We is definitely a band to add to your playlists. Thanks, Raquel. Attention seniors. Wednesday, November 7th is the due date for Senior Pictures and Quotes. Yearbook meetings will be Mondays and Thursdays after school in D101. See Ms. Sleeper with any questions. Attention 10th graders, it's not too late to order a class ring. Additional orders will be taken on Wednesday, November 7th during lunches. A $75 deposit is requested when placing your order. Design your custom ring online at jostens.com or pick up a jewelry packet in the main office. See Ms. Nielsen with any questions. Do you need help writing or editing drafts? Come to the Writing Center. Helpers will be in the Learning Commons every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 2 to 3 p.m. Do you need some extra help in math? Tutors will be available to help you with your math homework, go over skills and topics, or just help you with extra practice problems. The Math Center is open Tuesdays from 2 to 3 p.m. in the library. No appointment is necessary, but please remember, there is no late bus on Tuesdays. You love them or you hate them, but you can't deny their popularity on YouTube. Jake Paul and Shane Dawson are two YouTubers shaking things up on social media. Here's Stefan with more. Over the past few weeks, and especially now, when you think of Jake Paul and Shane Dawson, you think of one thing only. Is Jake Paul a sociopath? A sociopath is a person when a personality disorder manifesting itself in extreme antisocial attitudes, behaviors, and a lack of conscience. Shane Dawson, a famous YouTuber with over 18 million subs, is a person who used to do more fun and satire type of videos, but now does more serious videos that take more time to film and edit. On the other hand, Jake Paul, a famous YouTuber with over 17 million subs, is a person who films more dangerous videos with his squad, Team 10, and his other friends. Recently, Shane Dawson created a series on fellow YouTuber Jake Paul called In the Mind of Jake Paul, and he's been getting backlash ever since for saying and self-diagnosing that Jake Paul is a sociopath. In his first three videos, Shane Dawson watched some of Jake Paul's older videos and his family's videos, and at the end had one opinion that yes, Jake Paul is a sociopath. 
In his fourth video titled, The Enemies of Jake Paul, he talked to Nick Crompton, former COO of Team 10, and found out that the Jake Paul we all know and sometimes hate could just be a character for his vlogs, and he's much nicer and calmer in real life. However, all the drama shown wasn't faked or planned out. In his fifth and sixth video, Dawson followed around Jake Paul and his girlfriend and concluded that while he might have sociopathic tendencies, he isn't a sociopath. All of this raises the question of, are people too quick to judge people just based off what they post on social media? Now turning to sports. Teams in New England and Hudson are heating up. Congratulations to boys soccer and girls volleyball for making playoffs. Stay tuned for highlights next week. And if you're interested, interested in sports broadcasting, videotape, sporting events, having a sports talk show, or making cool highlight videos, join Hut TV Sports Club. Meetings are held after school on Wednesdays in room C-102. See Mrs. Chilton for more information. Don't worry if you can't make the meeting. Join the Remind app, Remind app for updates and crew calls. Text at Hut TV to the number 81010. Speaking of clubs, get ready, NAR Shredders. Ski Club registration will take place Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday next week at all lunches. The cost of the bus is $100 for the season. Please bring payment in order to re register and receive school sign-up code. You must bring in your payment before you get the code. Can't get enough of football? Don't miss out. Spirit Committee will pre-sell Turkey Day football shirts at lunches next Monday and Tuesday. There will be an image of the shirts for you to view at the table. Cash or checks only. Shirt prices are $18. Checks can be made out to Hudson High School. Order a shirt and rock some school spirit. <laughs> also, the annual senior versus faculty football game is going to be held on Friday, November 16th at 3 p.m. Permission slips are in Ms. Cawthorn's room, S203. Bring $5 in your signed permission slip to get, the, to get on the list. Don't miss Hudson High's Fall musical Annie and Fanta the fantastic story of the little orphan that charms everyone's heart despite having next to nothing. Showtimes will be November 16th and 17th at 7 p.m., November 18th at 2.30 p.m., and November 20th at 6.30 p.m. And finally, next Tuesday, November 6th, is voting day for the midterm elections. Even if you're not old enough to vote, it's never too early to be an informed citizen. Check out the tables and help the AP government students as they make predictions and present a mock election on Monday, November 5th during all lunches. From all of us at HUD TV, have, have a, a great, great day, day Hudson High. Yo gang.